timekeeper. Yeah, I think I'm ready. chest and said, ho, ho, Carpenter's Dream. For those of you who do not speak douchebag, Carpenter's Dream is code for flat as a board. Eric Parks was an asshole, but he was right. Had my body been made of mahogany, you could have propped me up between cinder blocks and the smooth planes of my chest would have made an attractive surface for a coffee table where your glass of bourbon would not have wobbled once. So 14 flats aboard, I stood in that hallway staring past Eric Parks' pointing finger to where Molly Jurgensen jeered over his shoulder. Molly Jurgensen, how I coveted her dangerous curves. Molly had a siren song of a body that sloped and dipped and swelled and swayed. The swing of her hips whispered secrets. The bounce of her chest issued challenges. And boys shuffled after her as sly and worshipful as rats behind the piper. She was round and beautiful. And in the grand tradition of pop popular 14-year-old girls everywhere, she was a total bitch. <laughs> I never got Molly Jerkinson's curves. I am now a 29-year-old carpenter's dream, but my flat as a board chest is located where it should be over the upper regions of my rib cage, while Molly Jerkinson's chest shares real estate with her belly button. She needs a mirror when she tries on new shoes, while I remain confident that throughout my life I will be able to look down and see the tops of my feet. But, junior high resentments and personal vendettas aside, how does one advocate for flat in a world where the spinning of our round planet around our round sun accounts for days and seasons and the convenience of gravity? Where our galaxy itself is a rotating spiral and even time and space are curved by starting small. Round is overshooting your chip shot and tumbling down the hill into a sand trap. Flat is the emerald oasis of the putting green. Round, oh sorry, flat is the two-dimensional beauty of the original Lion King. Round is 3D, which could have been cool, but is now synonymous with the laziness of the re-release. In fact, Disney is round because circles come back on themselves and are unable to create something new. Round is the warped curve of the floor beneath a wobbling cocktail, top cocktail table that sloshes red wine on your best white shirt just before your blind date shows up. Flat is the well-maintained sidewalk that doesn't trip you when you wobble down the street in sexy stilettos just a little bit tipsy because flat forgives unsteadiness and ridiculous footwear choices. <laughs> Round is the circular logic of the boyfriend who cheats on you in your early 20s. Uh, you were so independent, I didn't feel needed, even though when you, felt, when you needed me, I felt smothered and wasn't there for you, which forced you to be independent, but... Flat is, <laughs> flat is the lover of your 30s, the even keel that balances you until the space between you smooths and levels. Round is frost seeds and speed bumps, congested city beltways and business loops. Those fucking roundabouts on the east coast where you get stuck in that inside lane going around and around and around. And you can't exit because some asshole won't let you over. Why the fuck do they build those? <laughs> Flat is the expanse of open road unfurling itself to the horizon, the great American road trip, the formicid surface of the, of the truck stop table where you leave brown coffee rings and crumpled dollar bills for overworked waitresses who call you fun. Flat encompasses the simultaneous possibility of there being an edge or continuing to infinity. It's the place on the map that says here be dragons. It's the courage it took to point the prow of a ship to the horizon and sail forever toward either falling off that edge or continuing into new territories. Round is the boring safety of circumference. Flat is the human endeavor to carve out spaces on which we create the things that set us apart from all our life on this planet. Flat is the concrete foundation that grows skyscrapers, the blank pages that give birth to the novel, the empty canvas that becomes the Mona Lisa. Flat is comic books. Flat is plasma screens. Flat is your iPhone. <laughs> Fundamentally, flat is a surface, a surface rife with possibility that allows us to confront the terror of creating something from nothing because flat gives us a place to begin. That is by far my best argument for flat, but not my favorite. I'd rather end with the two most treasured guns in my argumentation arsenal, Star Wars and sex. Round is the Death Star. Flat is the Millennium fucking Falcon. Fastest ship in the galaxy, making the jump to hyperdrive. Woo! the curvature of time and space to a top flat highway of speed in which to disappear into the outer reaches of the universe. Now sex. Molly
Molly Jurgensen is a real woman, so am I. So when people say that real women have curves, I say, fuck that. Real women have vaginas. <laughs> vaginas that are often best enjoyed on the inviting services of mattresses, office decks, countertops, and dining room tables. Because if you've ever tried to have sex on an exercise ball, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Vote flat, my friends. Flat is the foundation of the human endeavor to create beautiful things, many of which are great to have sex on. Round is the Death Star, awkward sex on exercise balls, and Disney, all of which create huge disturbances in the force. Thank you.